welcome to a new video in today's video we are going to look at a lead code question and the question's name is palindrome linked list so in this question we're given a head of a singly linked list and we have to return true if it is a palindrome else we have to return false so a palindrome is a sequence that reads the same forward and backward if you take a look at example one one two two one is the same when you read it from left to right and one two two one is the same when you read it from right to left so we return true and here one two is not equal to two one so you return false so in this video we are going to solve using o of n space complexity and in the follow up video I am going to make a video on how to solve it with o of 1 space. As of now I haven't recorded that video yet. I will give the link to that video in the description box below. Now let's take a look at this example and see how this can be solved. I have taken the same example. So this is the head of the linked list which is pointing here. And we have the nodes 1, 2, 2, 1 and the last node is pointing to null. And I have created a list so that we can add these nodes as integers into the list and then check for palindrome. So I create a node called current and point it to the head of the linked list. I access each node and go till the end of the linked list and add one node at a time into the list we created. Now current is pointing here so add the current.val into list so one will be added here and move current to the next pointer. Now current.val is equal to 2 and add it into the list so 2 will be added here and increment current current is pointing here add current dot val to the list current dot val is equal to 2 again so add it to the list and increment current now current is pointing here current dot val is equal to 1 add it to the list and increment current now current is pointing to null so we end the iteration and we got all the elements into the list now we have the list in the same order as the nodes inside the linked list now we declare two pointers to check for palindrome the first pointer I'm going to name it left. So left will be pointing at the beginning of the list and right pointer will be pointing at the end of the list. Now we check if the value at left and right is equal or not. Yes, they are equal. So you would increment the left pointer and you decrement the right pointer. Now we again check if the value of left and right are equal. Yes, they are equal. So you decrement the right pointer and increment the left pointer. So once left crosses right, so left was beginning here and it's now here. Right was beginning here and it's now here. So it means they crossed right. So you can end the iteration. So once they cross and you still didn't return false, you can return true as the output. So let's take another example inside the list. If list contains elements like this, left will be pointing here and right will be pointing here. The value of left and right is not equal. So you return false and it is not a palindrome. Now let's code it up in Java. So this is the function given to us. And we are given the head of a linked list. And the return type is boolean. So we have to return true or false. So let's start off by doing a base check. If head is equal to null, then we return true. Because null can also be considered as palindrome. Now let's create an array list. Since the values inside the nodes are integers, let's create an integer array list. Now let's create a current node and point it to the head of the linked list. So with this current pointer, we are going to access each node and insert it inside the list we created. Now we iterate until current does not reach the end of the linked list. Now in each iteration, we are going to access the element at current and add it to the list. So list.add current.val and now we move the current pointer to the next node. So current will point to current.next. So this will happen for all the nodes present inside the head. And now we have all the nodes as integers inside the list. Now we have to check if the integers inside the list is a palindrome number or not. So let's declare the two pointers as I mentioned. Left will be pointing at the first integer and right will be pointing at the last integer at the end of the list. And now until both the pointers meet, this while loop will run. So left should be less than right. Now we have to check if the integers at these two pointers are same or not. So using the get method on the list, let's get the element pointing at these two pointers. So if the element at the left pointer is not equal to the element at the right pointer, then you can return false. So if you consider this is a list, so this element is not equal to this element. So if it is not same, you can return false. Else you increment the left pointer from here to here 
and you decrement the right pointer from here to here. So left plus plus and right minus minus. And finally outside the while loop you can return true if it has not returned false here. It means that it is a palindrome number. Now let's try to run the code. Our test cases are running. Let's submit the code. There you have it, our solution has been accepted. So the time complexity of this approach is O of n because we are doing a one pass to reach the end of the linked list. And the space complexity is also O of n because we are using an array list to solve this question. That's it guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.